Hey guys, in this video we are going to take a look at a whole bunch of color schemes and how you can use them in your own artwork. First, let's take a look at the color wheel. This thing is a tool that is used to organize the colors of the rainbow. I'm going to reference this a lot in the video, so it's important to have some knowledge of the color wheel. Our first color scheme is called monochromatic. This is tints and shades of one single color or hue. Monochromatic color schemes are usually the most cohesive um, and unified, and they can provide a sense of balance within your artwork. The next color scheme is called analogous. Analogous color schemes use colors that are all close to each other on the color wheel, so as little as two colors um, to as many as five colors that are all right next to each other on the color wheel. If you start to use too many colors though, um, just be aware that it can be disruptive from the harmony that you can usually find in analogous color schemes. Analogous color schemes are also often found out in nature. The next color scheme is called complementary. This is one of my favorites. This involves using colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. Complementary colors are really high contrasting. When you put them next to each other, they can really make each other intensify. Um, that's why it's often used for logos or something that needs to be eye-catching. Complementary colors can be kind of tricky to use though um, because if you don't neutralize one of the colors just a little bit, it can be a little too intense to look at. Next up we have split complementary. Um, this takes one color and then the colors that are on either side of its complement. So for example, red and then yellow green and blue green. Split complementary um, is a little bit more versatile to use because you get that high contrast feeling without the intensity of straight complementary colors. And finally, we have triadic color schemes. This is three equally spaced colors on the color wheel. So for example, red, yellow, and blue. This color scheme will typically work the best if you choose one color to be more dominant and use the others in lesser quantity. Like in this image, we see a lot of green and smaller pops of orange and purple. So for your project, you are going to do your own color scheme drawing. First, I want you to choose your subject matter and then think about which color scheme would fit this drawing the best. You can choose any of the five that we have just gone over. In your project, you are welcome to draw with only pencil. You can use Sharpies if you would like to. But I do want to see that you are practicing creating different values with your colored pencils. So this means how um, firm or how lightly you're pressing down with the colored pencil. You'll notice different areas of shadow and lightness on my picture. I want to see you guys practicing the same thing in your own artwork. One last requirement is that I want to see that you guys are using the entire piece of paper for this project. Uh, so make sure that you have colored in every single part of the page. And that's all. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with for your own color scheme drawings.